Yeah. Our new high school. Yeah. So, everything's been sorted out? No, we have to, well they have your transcripts. Now we gotta get your classes arranged. Alright, sounds good. He's a senior now. Senior in high school. Where'd he go? <laughs> and you can hear the ocean right past those trees. We're gonna get tacos at this place. This place only accepts cash, but apparently, not apparently, it is really good. We've eaten here. <gasps> a train, a train is coming. Oh my goodness. Found ten dollars yesterday on the ground. Just randomly found ten dollars. <laughs> he knows he's spending big. You got the nachos, right? I got nachos. Okay, I think these are the nachos. Okay. Right here. Oh no, this is not nachos. Oh, those are my tacos. Oh, those are nice. Wow. Like, you got an extremely heavy meal. Me? Yeah. Wow. Okay, let's check it out. Well, you can have some. I can't eat all this. Oh, that looks good though. That looks amazing. The sun is literally setting over the mountains. Just did a Portland class. I'm wearing this outfit that's like, yeah, I just posted the video about me, my re reuniting with the hunter. The video got a lot of views. Okay, like I realize I only get 50 views per video, but I'm 54, I'm 54 years old, and I was single for 13 years. I'm still technically single, okay? I'm gonna pull up, well, all right, let's just go faster. I'm technically single, but I, my age, I didn't care about my age regarding love or fitness or fashion or any of that stuff. And I still don't. All of the advice that has ever been given to me about men was all is all wrong. I didn't play games. I didn't make him wait for my texts. I didn't play. He texts me, I text back instantly. I'm very blessed. I'm very blessed that I followed my intuition, but I also followed, honestly, I did follow a lot of YouTube video suggestions, a lot of Christian-based, biblically-based. I'm not like a hardcore Christian. I'm really kind of a Christ Christian-ish. <laughs> so, that's the truth, okay? But it did help, like, it, it, it helped a lot. It changed everything. I've never done this before. And me being single all those years, I didn't even think about it. Like for 10 of those years, I didn't even realize I was single. I wasn't even thinking, I, I don't know, I was running. I was running away from relationships. I was running away from all the nightmare of boyfriend situationships. And I wasn't thinking. I had crushes on YouTubers that lived really far away that I never had any contact with. But for the most part, I was just kind of like lost. And I remember some pretty boring years. And then Bart killed himself, which was hard to explain, still is. That put me in shock. And then a year after that, I started to get these kingdom spouse special person videos out of the blue like out of the blue really frustrating it felt like I was getting led on 
but it, what doesn't matter. I just also happened to have lost like 10 pounds and I was getting in shape and it was just all these things happening at once. Anyway, that's why I was able to hold it down, hold it together. Because I knew when he texted me, it was all the confirmation, it was everything. And he joked with me later. He's like, yes, well, I, had the, I was in control now. Like, you know, I think he was testing me to see if I was going to freak out. Every day these channels come on and tell you you can manifest your dreams and by just thinking positive thoughts. During our breakup time, there were be times I would pray, I would ask God, I'd also get a flash, a vision of us back together in a good way, like loving. And it would be so split second, it'd be just a flash of it. It would sustain me. But yeah, it was rough. I talked about it a lot, but I actually really kind of held it, held it down because I knew that it was in my favor. Everything was in my favor. Yeah, <laughs> it was worth it. Thanks for watching my vlog. Yeah, seven fifty. Okay. I didn't mean to take a photo. I just click like a boat traffic jam. Okay. All right. Don't, don't record me. <laughs> I got an email this morning from a customer angry about her dress, the dye not being perfect on it, <sighs> which is like for batik. There's no kids there, but it's 7:55. Like the bus comes at 8:10. Why would it be 15 minutes early? We just saw eight. We just saw a bus go by. Any kids there? It's like one. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. There is a kid there. I thought you said a name. No, I didn't say anyone's name. I don't know any names. Yeah, I woke up to an angry email from a customer. Didn't like the inconsistent dye colors. Oh, disheartening to get an email like that. Especially because how much effort it takes to make a batik and all the layers of dye and the risk that comes with, especially light colors. And mostly light colors with the, the dye, the modeling is just part of it. I don't remember sending anything that was particularly off. She said she thought it was done carelessly. Look, we got the dyes on a shelf out here. I don't know, I would, I think, I'm not, I don't know how I feel about it. I feel sad. That's lighting. I feel sad. The amount of boats that are out on the water today is like jarring. Why are there so many boats? I'm just, I'm just not going to address the yellow dress email. It's just part of it. They're handmade and they, they're full immersion. And I, I don't recall a, sending a yellow dress with green speckles. Let's see what time it is. It's 7.56 right now. I know. Let, we'll leave at 8. Bye, son. Bye. 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 No, <laughs> Have a good day. I love you. Okay, bye.